Hello, my name is Ripdollo. You might know me as Bonnie Kichi from TikTok. Since, of course, I posted my video on being a self-taught artist, today I wanted to actually show everyone how I've learned to study from various seasoned artists, as well as share my own experience in studying the wrong way, because after all, there is a right and wrong way to go about studying. And I do want to clarify that these techniques aren't my own, but various experienced artists who I've learned from throughout my journey and I highly encourage that you take a look amongst the artists that you look up to and learn from their wisdom and experience in studying art properly. Now, there is no real right way to study, but there are various ways that you can study that just won't benefit you at all. And as a self-taught artist or someone just even trying to learn something, you really do need to learn how to learn these things properly. When I first started out on my journey as a digital artist, I didn't even realize that I would have to do something that sounds as boring as studying. I did have the desire to get better, but I thought that I would just kind of get better along the way as I drew more, which isn't necessarily wrong to say, but the best and fastest way to progress in anything is to study the fundamentals of the subject at the beginning of your journey. This led to me eventually studying things that were way out of my range as an artist, things like difficult textures, complex folds in fabric, different advanced perspectives. I never even really gave myself the opportunity to study the fundamentals of these subjects before I tried to tap such difficult concepts and at this point I didn't even know how to shade properly so when I would study these things in order to draw them for a piece I would end up completely giving up on the study or the piece itself because it's just too complex for me to carry through my vision and this really hurt my ego as an artist it was only recently that I learned that I had to actually start from where a beginner artist would start regardless of the fact that I've been drawing for two years now I never took the time to learn these crucial fundamentals when I first started and this really put a bar on me as an artist trying to draw these very complex ideas and I just couldn't bring them to paper. But once I actually realized this, it was very easy for me to find different ways to improve what I needed to do and what I can improve on after I've kind of learned that subject for the most part. After all, the foundations of an artist is their fundamentals. When you're kind of just winging it, you might learn different concepts and techniques on your own or from other artists, but you still won't know how to use them to their full advantage because all these different skills and techniques work best when they kind of come together and bounce off of each other and complement each other. And now that I've learned more of the fundamental skills, shape language or line weight in quality, I can better carry out these difficult concepts that I touched on earlier, like difficult textures and more dynamic folds in different types of fabric. With my base of the fundamentals, I can take that and kind of go to these studies that used to kind of boggle my mind and I can make sense of them and use them to better me as an artist. And once you get to this level, you don't even need to really study day by day. You can simply study when you need to study something to draw it. As you keep going forward as an artist, you will learn these different subjects and concepts in drawing and you'll keep growing essentially as long as you're willing to. Now that I've gotten the wrong approach to studying out of the way, Let's talk a little bit about some of the beneficial ways that you can go about studying. Of course, now we know to start from the beginning, but what do we do next? And when do we stop studying these fundamentals? The answer to both these questions is do whatever you feel is right for you as an artist. As someone who now wants to be a background painter, I will have to study a lot more fundamentals than I did. And for someone who is a character designer, they might have to go on and study more of the fundamentals of character design instead of just studying the fundamentals of drawing people. Say you're not planning on getting into the industry and you just wanted to get better as an artist. Well, now you can kind of just go and do your thing. As you draw more, you will have to study more. I personally only studied the basics of drawing as well as the fundamentals of drawing heads. As at the time, I was unable to draw people and I didn't know if I wanted to pursue a future in background art or character design because I simply could not draw characters. And so I went on to study these things, which did help my backgrounds as well. But the exact way I went about studying, I believe is probably one of the best ways for most artists. I first studied the drawing basics like shading, shape language, and line quality, drawing with your shoulder instead of your wrist. I also studied a lot of gesture, which was a very important one. I tried to do at least 10 gesture drawings every day for at least about a month. I would do timed 3-10 to 10 minute quick gesture drawings, and this really helped me capture the gesture of poses which I was very bad at. And leading on to my second month of studying, I got my Hue on Canvas 22 Plus. This is definitely like the best purchase I've ever made.
which I do love a lot. And this is when I started to study heads and more importantly, the Loomis method. So when I started studying heads and the facial features, I would take what I learned every study and draw it over and over again every day for about another month until I really hammered this in. And once I kind of got these fundamentals all down, I moved on to drawing more fun things that I like to draw and eventually full illustrations. It was mostly fan art until I entered the Clip Studio Pay contest, which really pushed me into drawing more original illustrations. And mind you, this was all just my progress from July to October. Once I learned how to study properly, I turned my future as an artist on its head. I got rid of all the art block and imposter syndrome that I felt, and I decided to go even further as an artist, as now I have the goal of becoming a background artist in the animation industry. Of course, if there's anything I would want you to take from this story, it's that drawing consistently every single day as well as studying is something that you need to do in order to get better as an artist. There are other ways to get better, but this is the most efficient and effective way to get better fast. As you can see, I really did progress very fast. Studying alone is not enough to become a better artist. You must practice these skills that you study constantly. Since we want to become industry artists on this channel, it's quite obvious that studying the basics of drawing and the fundamentals of heads simply isn't enough to become an industry level artist. Though it is very important to keep studying at a moderate rate, taking too much information in at once will only overwhelm you in the same way that a more complex study would overwhelm a beginner artist. Take your time to learn the different fundamentals for your respective field. Another thing that's very important is to actually know what field that is that you want to get into. A lot of us more ambitious artists don't really even know what field we want to get into. It quite literally took me learning how to draw characters to know that I wanted to be a background artist. And even then I'm still torn between background designer or painter. So naturally I don't blame you. But it is important that we take time to learn what we really want to be early on in our journey. And of course, this task itself isn't very easy, so take your time with it. Really play around and learn the different basic fundamentals for these different subjects. And once you've gotten good enough at all of them, you'll really know which one you enjoy drawing the most. This will also really help you as an artist as knowing really how to draw anything that your mind might make up is of course beneficial for artists to bring creativity to life. And once you know what you want to be, you can take your time slowly building your skills and for self-taught artists, this can be very difficult. It's very crucial that we start from the beginning of this process, not the middle or close to the end. Like I said earlier, you can't just pick up these more complex studies and expect to understand them and really utilize them to their full extent. Even if you learn the fundamentals of drawing, the fundamentals for these actual industry level fields are an entirely different scenario. If you found this video helpful, you might want to check out some of my other videos as they might be of use to you. Next week's video will be on different resources that you can use to study as both an independent artist or someone who's really trying to get into the industry. Very glad you decided to join me on our journey of becoming better artists. But apart from that, it's been real. See ya.